Today we are going to give you a quick rundown of operation of the LP3000 hydraulic lab press. This model in particular is the LP400 kN. We will be using it to cure rubber samples for use in physical testing such as hardness and density. Let's begin. Before running a cure cycle with the LP3000 we first need to set the cure parameters. First, let's set the temperature. This can be accessed on the temperature screen by pressing the button on the left side of the control panel. For this cure cycle, we are going to set the temperature to 160 C. Next, we will set the force. This can be set on the main setting screen or on the force menu. Here, we will set the force to 350 kN. Last, we will set the cure time and bump timers. This can be set on the main screen or using the time menu. We will set the cure time to 6 minutes and set 3 bumps at 15 seconds each to vent any trapped gases. The parameters that we are using to cure our samples are determined through MDR testing. You can also save parameters for different compounds by pressing the configurations button at the top of the main settings screen. From there, you can select and rename one of the configurations and edit its cure parameters. The info button on the bottom right of the screen allows you to change settings for language and units if needed. It also allows trained technicians to access the service menu for calibration procedures. Now that we have the parameters set, we will need to wait for the platens to reach the set temperature and stabilize. Next, we will place the mold onto the lower platen and close the platens to preheat it for at least 20 minutes. Make sure that you are always wearing heat protective gloves during this procedure. Following ASTM and ISO guidelines, we will verify the mold temperature by inserting a thermocouple into the grooves. Next, we will remove the mold from the platens and insert the rubber preforms, then place the mold back into the press in the minimum time possible to prevent the mold from cooling. Press the start buttons on the press to close the platens and begin the cure cycle. During the cycle, the platens will slightly open to vent gas if bumps were set. After the cycle is complete, the platens will open. Promptly remove the mold from the press and remove the samples from the mold to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Samples can be cooled in water or on a metal surface. 